Really now. I knew that shit was gonna happen. Okay. Hello everyone, and welcome to the medium. This game I've heard quite a bit about. I haven't really seen much on it. The only thing I know is that you are someone who can actually transverse between or traverse between the uh let's try that again. Take two. Hello everyone, and welcome to the medium. Uh I haven't heard much about this game seen very little all i know is that you're someone who can actually traverse through the what ethereal plane and the mortal realm and you have to solve puzzles and mysteries going between each one that's pretty much all i know <laughs> so without further ado let's jump into the medium all right so yeah i'm i'm excited for this a little death moth. I really wonder what this is going to be like. I've seen rave reviews about it, but uh, only just now been able to actually play it. It all starts with a dead girl. Start off. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. Is that her? It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. strange if they only knew okay <laughs> that day when the phone rang That's it was the hardest day of my life the day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie, simple, just the things he did every day. Is it ever so simple? But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. It's crazy. I'm just coming out of recording Martha's Dead, and uh, I can already feel I was like this almost is probably... ready. Oh, shit. I just had to find his special tie clip. Thank you for, uh... 
loading in. Uh, it. <laughs> oh, well. Memorial of the Holy Garden Angels, Funeral 10, ultra Ultrasound. Our Lady of the Rosemary, Biopsy, Send Package to Marianne, Neurological Visit, Funeral 12.30, Ultrasound, Neurovision, Visit, Funeral 9, Funeral 11, Pick Up Marianne from Train Station, All Saints, All Souls, a Surgery. Good Lord! So I don't know if it's my computer, or if it's the game itself, but it seems like there's some rendering issues. But Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Other than that, this game is gorgeous. Ah, right. The tie clip. Pull Look yourself together, door. Marianne. Okay. Bathroom. 1984. Yeah, very interesting. Especially because the subject material in that book. What is a funeral home key in the fucking cat bowl? Uh how? Looks nourishing. Cochi la cochi. Oh, I got some ghosting on my on my controller. Here you go. What's your face? Mm -hmm. Glad to see you're still kicking around. Damaged feline. <laughs> Symbolic funeral. This Sierra's a mine. Tragedy on rails. An eighteen-year-old student died during a driving test. Oof. Actually, I say a summary. Nicholas Billy is the best sock player in the world. Holy hand grenade of Antioch was found in the cave of Tomna Tomna Dashan. What the fuck? So okay, so we got some Monty Python fans. Reconstruction of Igolomas Igolomska. Street has started because nobody wants to go there. <laughs> Hypertension kills silently like ninja. <laughs> I would. They, they actually. What if they uh, thought anyone was going to read this shit? <laughs> Wait, today the US President George Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall a decade ago. What? The President discussed the progress we have achieved towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe and the challenges that lie ahead. The President emphasized the US leadership and engagement have been and remain critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe has been furthered by one key achievement. By enlarging NATO earlier this year to include Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic, President Clinton and other NATO... Oh, this is 99. Okay, makes sense. NATO leaders strengthened these new democracies and alliance and ensured their contribution to the security of Europe. Okay. Oh my god, the holy hand grenade of Antioch was found in a cave. That's funny. Alright. <laughs> What is I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Wow. So am I going to have to do... photo taking in this as well? Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. <laughs> I can do it now. Okay, so... Paper. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Oh, illuminate photo for five seconds, my bad. One thousand, two one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. And then three seconds, three seconds. I missed my window. Huh? Now it's overexposed. God damn it. Okay, fine. Two, 
two one thousand. Three one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. What was the last photo I took of you, Jack? <laughs> Shit. Shit. Wow. Nice. Okay. Actually, what's done this way? Nothing. Okay. It's a gorgeous game. Granted, granted, it's on the Unreal Engine, so it doesn't surprise me too Jack's much. Room. It's like he never. Damn it. Okay. Got something here. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. What is the other way? Huh? Insight. What's this? Oh, it's tie clip. Okay. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but oh. even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Well, damn. Strong dude. I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. There's gotta be a reason for it then. God, this is gorgeous. Keep hissing actually... at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? I'm hissing at you. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home and I'd help out whenever I could. Uh, it felt good to be useful. That's why there were so many funerals on that schedule. Must have been her room. Weird to be back in my old room. Yeah. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. That's cool. To listen. That was the least I could do. Yeah. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. Oh. To ignore their calls. The little kid in the back. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Interesting. I, want to see something in I used collection. to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, uh, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Hmm. Interesting. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Wow. Second degree thermal burns, covering 45% of total body surface area. Suspected inhalation injury. Care management stabilization, early wound coverage. Respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated. Wow, she was. I wonder what happened. Yeah, no, what I was going to say is, uh, I actually found a tutorial to try and help understand. We Unreal lived Engine upstairs 5. from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. You should get to explain to us, except with your insight. Be 
But yeah, no, uh, I'm hoping to try and actually utilize the, uh, the class tutorial, or the class 4 slash tutorial to learn UE5, because, I don't know, I feel like it's something I would really like to try and get into, apart from many other things that I'm attempting to try and do as well. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Investigator. Jack's in the prep room. Oh, prepare Jack for his last journey. Oh, wow. That's supposed to be Yggdrasil or something? What's going on here? Stanislaw, bombing, dressing body, cosmetician, hairdresser. Jack, Miss Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation dates in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to marry it. Okay. This is incredible. Wanting to hit X, <laughs> but it's uh, it's configured like an Xbox controller. Yeah, like that's not creepy. You know, I applaud the the people who do this funeral home, and even the uh, people who work in the mortuary. In general, it's just. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Not sure if I'm ready for it either. No idea what's about to happen. Hey, Jack. Well, this is gonna get weird. This is gonna get real creepy real soon, I'm sure. special clip. Where's your tie? Let me see. Oh, it's standing over here. <laughs> there we go. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Come on. There you go. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? You're safe, you're gonna have to be. <laughs> Did that just a push down? That has got to be tough, running the funeral home and then having to put your loved one away yourself. I feel like, wouldn't you want some other funeral home to do it? But I guess if you're the one who runs it, you know your quality thing. You don't want to do it yourself. Oh, can't you people read? 
The sign says closed. It's not people, it's a living. I'd probably say the same thing, though. What the fuck? She didn't see that? Come on, girly. The hell? What the hell? Yeah, what the hell indeed. Shit. Guess you felt it too, okay? And then it happened. I've been through so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Yo. So much for aging gracefully. Yes, Jack. We should probably get somewhere else. Interesting. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's, it's I, okay, I, I Jack. Know, I, I can't just... I know, but it's not important. You, you are crying. Was he killed? Or did he have a brain tumor? It's interesting that she's interacting with them in the spirit realm, but it's as if she's doing it as well in the mortal realm. This is such, like, such a cool way to do it. That's going to be tough, too. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. Yeah, exactly. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you, too. Is the notebook upstairs in his room? I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. 
divided, torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. The bottle looks familiar. Or so I thought. Looks like that coffee liqueur. I can't think of it. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is it? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, that helps. If this is a joke. You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life, but I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Where did you see her? At Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're what? my only chance. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this game. Oh. Yeah, Bloober team. They're on a whole nother level, man. Oh. Some shit going wrong with the game itself. Unless that was intentional. But yeah, no, Bloober team's been putting out some good stuff. I mean, they were the ones who did uh, Layers of Fear, I believe, as well as... Um, oh goodness the observer which was phenomenal so and I, to be honest they're only getting better and better with every game they put out and I think this one really tops them all although Labors of Fear was a phenomenal series as well I wonder how the observer redux is though I haven't I haven't actually gotten that one Yeah, no, this game is... It's going to be intense, I feel. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff about this game, especially that duality, if you will. Troy Baker? I only just caught that. I have a feeling there's going to be some really, really disturbing stuff. The last goodbye. So far, I'd say it's been running actually really well. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice, I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. Yeah, exactly. That's interesting. Abandoned. Oh, is this like a... The hotel he said was the abandoned one. Not real. She doesn't have Alma hair. <laughs> the Neva Workers Resort. Right off hmm. the bat. 
feel there was something off about that place. Really? How could you tell? Do I have like a hurry up button? Okay. Doesn't seem like I do. Can't use my instinct either. Anyone home? I guess. Yodelehu. Iwa says hello. Okay. Not a whole lot here. What was it? Hello, moon child. Ah, okay, so we gotta hop over the wall. <laughs> well, too bad, so sad. We're gonna have to do better than that. Exactly. I'm sure there's gonna be like some kind of dark history or something like that. It used to be a government owned vacation resort. Oh, there we go. Until one day it just stopped. Government owned vacation? urban legend was born the Neva massacre the details were always fuzzy crazed workers ancient curses you know the usual well I'm sure we'll find out that's not very far from the truth unless it is interesting because uh, there's there's a theory that a lot of urban legends become actual truth the more people believe it like it actually manifests itself into a real thing from the thoughts and the belief from the general populace populace <laughs> oh the ball's gone Is that simply giving giving clue that uh huh. Hello. giving clue that uh the realm of the dead and the realm of the living are starting to bleed into each other? Although I'm not a big fan of uh, ghost children kind of being forced to go through this. Sorry if I don't have much to say, I'm just... I'm actually completely in amazement of this. Okay, T and K from 1968. Okay. Keep touching a tree. Can I go over here? No. Another tree touched, but nothing to actually see on it. So far, pretty linear. Can't really see, can't really explore too much. Huh. Looks like an old... The background just loaded in. Might be my way in. Did she say an old fort? Why would you want to go through an old fort with your power? Well, I mean... I guess if you're used to seeing the dead, it wouldn't be that much of an issue, but... I can certainly say to myself, I wouldn't want to go through it. Especially if it's, uh... Brimming with history, if you will. 
Huh? Warning due to the recent unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. What? Archaeological examination? AKA some ancient curse? To have the absolute guts to go through that and fully believe that nothing's going to fall on you. Nope. That's... Yeah. If a place had a story to tell, well... Ah. I guess I was there to listen. I guess so. See, that's crazy. This is the crazy thing, too, is like... What the hell? Is it's like, you have to switch between the two. Because if you're trying to find the story in the, the spirit realm, you have to look one side. But then it looks normal on the other side. I love it. Eh? That's focus on the like everything else in this place. That's interesting. Does that mean things are going to be influenced from both sides? Why is it all squishy? The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures. Yeah, no shit. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. What the hell is that? As I absorbed the energy, I wondered was that left it behind a dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved or maybe just glad to be done with this world I don't get it am I doing something wrong here weird didn't seem like I could absorb it all. But it was like the souls of the dead just looking at it, I guess. Trying to find comfort or something. Oh, oh, I wonder. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy yeah. Good for you, Marion. Oh, what? These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Did I turn it on? The split would go, uh. Oh, it's painful so looking. Was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Limbo. Fire hazard? Okay, where? Okay, it's pretty simple, uh... 
understanding of where to go. This is pretty straightforward at least. Alright, so kid went that way. Can I go this way? I certainly can. Oh. What the hell? What happened to you? Yeah, that doesn't look normal. Doesn't look normal at all. Okay, I can't examine it or anything, like you work in a funeral home, you work with bodies, you wouldn't think to look at it? Okay, still following this kid. I don't think the kid went this way, but still wanted to at least uh, check it out, if you will. Is that a clock? What the hell? Yeah, exactly. What the hell, indeed. Okay. Nothing to it, just tambourine monkey on a grave. All right. I feel like there was more to that. That'll probably come in significance later. All right, so let's go in the direction of the child this time. I like this overhead view for some reason. Very cinematic. Resort. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a land full of memory, emotions, and none of them good. Damn. I wonder if you can actually eventually control the split. I wonder how much you can actually explore over here, too. Apparently everything. Holy shit. I mean, it was government-run, so I wonder if there was some experimentation or something. That shouldn't still be working. Okay. Odd Horizons. 93, wow. Smallpox. So what else can we find here? This place is massive though. I'll admit that. 
I think there's a whole lot I can actually find with my intuition here. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. For who? Honest work. Niwa. Plus swing result to work with the guild. You know what that means? More work is yours truly, but it's good work. Honest work. I like keep me can you believe it? I won't screw this up, not this time. Hmm. Hope you don't mind if I uh pop your trunk. Mm -hmm. Not much here. Although this could come in handy. Right. Ow! Shit! What the hell? What a cheap ass little drum scare. Fuck you. <laughs> no one here. Okay, so the little spirit was here. Yeah, this place is going to be interesting. Wonder what kind of dark secrets they're gonna have. I mean, I hate to say it, it's always like the settings in Eastern Europe, they always have like the most dark foreboding. I sense something. Yeah, it's called kids playing. Let's see, eight. Oh, it's just simply them playing the. Playing the game. No? I figured there's gonna be like a. an item or something. Yo, okay, that's. Let's not do that. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, so the whole setting is in this Neva. Hold LB and move to find the echo. Oh. Down here. No, they're definitely something. That's behind. Caught the scent. You made huh? the right call sending them. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images. Feelings left behind. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, Okay, it goes straight to the door, big surprise. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. <laughs> so began the great dumpster heist of 1999. <laughs> Um, did I just skip a whole area where I was supposed to be like, oh, it's locked. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. <laughs> you better be worth it. Oh, we're going to go through the top window there. Okay. Yeah, time to go back to see what else is there. Doesn't seem like much. Okay. Let's cut all that down.
Ah. Let's go ahead with this. Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Yeah, the dumpster I just put there. bit of lag there okay don't cut yourself Then. Actually, before I do all that, all right, I'm gonna stop it here. We got inside a new hotel. This game is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be creepy. It's gonna be just surreal. And Bluebird usually does a really good job of telling stories, especially with people's like own pasts and stuff like that. So. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm sure you all enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and like, subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time. And, uh, peace out.